You know, after the um, 11th of November 2022, when Kherson was lib uh, liberated from Russian oc oc occupants, they began uh, to shoot. And every day we uh, feel those weapons uh, above our hands, uh, heads. Uh, it's a very terrible situation. Almost every day there are some uh, people um, uh, in tragedy uh, because there are um, uh, about uh, from 10 up to um, 100 shootings uh, a day. So it's almost broken city but the people continue to live, here, live there and some people uh, turn home, turn back home uh, because it's, it's our native home and uh, we want to live there. Uh, I live in Kiev now. Um, me and my husband, we, live, uh, we were living for four and a half months uh, in occupation in 2022, but from July uh, the 2022, we, um, 2022, yeah, we live in Kiev, but once or twice a month I go home to check my home, to see my parents, to see my friends there, because they are there. And uh, those broken houses are very terrible. And uh, if you know, maybe yesterday there was a very terrible day for our city, but all the people are alive. And it's, it's you know, uh, uh, the day when we know that uh, after those shootings, people are alive, it's a very happy day for us. Because uh, it happens every day those uh, terrible shootings and uh, you know the people who were in Kherson um, before Russian invasion and turn back now uh, they say it's another city there are another people uh, in another city because it's very very broken I think yeah it's their strategy because when they're uh, they um, when they came uh, to us the 24th of February 2022 they were sure that it was forever and uh, those boards with those uh, um, uh, Russia is here forever <laughs> and they were sure that they were there forever and uh, eight months and a half and uh, uh, the Ukrainian forces liberated the uh, right bank of the river Dnieper uh, in Kherson region. Uh, they, um, it was a very big fail for them. So now it's a strategy to make everything to uh, make the city fall down. So it's uh, and they, um, they know what, uh, what do, do they do because they should uh, the hospitals, the hum humanitarian centers, and uh, the houses of the people, not military objects. They shoot the civilian objects. And it's, uh, um, it's their strategy to make everything down because they, um, they didn't do what they wanted to. I think that um, you know, I'm sure that this war in Ukraine is very uh, important for, for all the world, like, ev like maybe any other war. So um, we, n we need uh, support every day, the support of the people in Ukraine and the support of people out of Ukraine. I don't know what, what is right to do, but I think that uh, if, if, it's, um, if it's possible, uh, we need to be supported in, in every uh, every step in a, in, a, in every way. If it's culture, it may be culture. If it's weapon, it may be weapon. Because uh, I'm sure that uh, if the next city will fall down, uh, it will, uh, the war can um, uh, the war can go out from Ukraine and to share in another country. It's, it's very, it's very dangerous, and it will be tragedy. I think that Russia has uh, enough forces for this.